linen thread and I know it might be impossible but if you have any of these um, products handy we could do this together but I see that uh, it's going in and out and I don't really know who can be here who's who's gonna be able to hang around through this so it is what it is right okay so this is what I do when I'm layering and I'm when I'm using when I'm using my linen thread um, it's a little too difficult to put you know to run it around and then to uh, to make the bow so <clears throat> what I do is I just cheat a little and I take um, a little bit of my thread and a little bit of scotch tape and it's so much easier for me to do it that way so here we go with that so always keep a little scotch tape handy and then we're good with that now for the bow um, I wanted to do that first but I can put the bow on and I just want to make a double uh, a double bow but I'm going to tie it right under there under the thread and this way I'm just making two strands same size and I'm going to um, make my bow from here now before I do that I'm going to make a little knot just to hold it in place while I um, adhere it to the card base but now I'm going to take one of these um, trinkets that came with that bun with that suite the sailing home and um, see if we can um, get that to dangle on there a little bit but I want to do this first so let me get this on and <clears throat> Alrighty, and that just goes right on like that. And like I told you, this is all um, just layering. I did, I did, I'll do the stamping, but I did a little bit of the die cutting um, for you know beforehand just to save some time. Okay, so now that I have this on here, I'm just going to loop it through, and let me let me make it even, just through the center of this little captain's wheel. I'm not sure what this is called. Pull that out and then I can go ahead and make my bow around that and then that will do some um, whoops that will do some we can fiddle with that later but that's the idea of getting the trinket in there like I did here with the, um, the anchor okay I will I'll trim this I'll trim this back a little and make my bow a little bit prettier because it's a little messy but okay get the idea all right so this was from the um the die the dies that were i don't remember the name of these um the smooth sailing dies so i took this out i did do this beforehand and i uh, used my um knight of navy um marker blends marker to fill this in, which I, I love those blends markers. You've heard me say that before. Um, and I'm just gonna pop that up there. I already uh, cut that out. And, um, well, I'll tell you about the class in a little bit. Let's just get this finished. Okay, so we can do some stamping on the tag. Oh my. Okay. Um, and that's, I just used the thanks. I tried to use different stamp sets that had different um, thank you sentiments on there so that each one would be different for me to give out to my, my friends that are helping us through all this, that are out there every day. Okay, all right. These are very bold colors I found um, in this group. I think I'm going to use my um, minis for this one, just because it is a little bit smaller than the others. So um, if you're here, and just let me know if, uh, if things are working better now. I can see a couple of you are here, but I can't tell if, if it stopped going in and out. Okay, look how quick that was. Done. Okay, number one. Done. Postman, UPS man, you're good. All right, so let's do our next one. I'll do with the, um, like I said, I tried to do different 
um, stamp sets with each one. I tried to find nice sets that had a, a nice um, uh, thank you sentiment for it, with it. So for this one, I used the Daisy Lane because I wanted to use this great punch. I mean, the, this um, mini, mini Daisy punch, I believe it's called, is, um, is great for another great thing for quick and easy projects. So I already did my stamping here. Let's get our note card ready to go. And I'm just gonna, uh, it's already scored, like I said, so we're going to, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it hasn't gone in and out. That's good, that's good to hear, Peggy, thank you. Because uh, on my side, it looks like it was back and forth. All right, so this is another one, quick layers. Where's my, this is the one that I did, that I completed. And let's see, what side do we want? Let's do the polka dot side on this one. And this um, DSP pack uh, was six by six, and um, it, it was the you know 2018-2020, uh, and it had, I believe, five different patterns for each of the five um, cards. So it was plenty, uh, plenty, plenty in there. So if you do like these, I definitely would suggest you get over and um, stock up now because it is, they're just not gonna be available. It's just, history has told us that, that that's how this works. Once these, um, once the, the uh, retiring list comes out, which will be uh, this afternoon, and um, the new catalog, it's good as gone. So, and if you have them, but you wanna just get some, um, Reinkers, you know those little ink spots then that would be a good thing to stock up on now, too Okay, let's make sure we're going the right way here. And I'm just gonna put this here um, This die cut was is from the um, Daisy uh, no, it's not it's from the uh, so sentimental the stitched so sweetly dies and um, I'm sure hoping that they carry over because they were they are just fantastic the different um, shapes they have all right so I already stamped two of my mini uh, daisies from the Daisy Lane um, stamp set and the so let's see if I can do this okay and um, mm -mm. Sometimes you have to like round the corners a little bit, which I'm trying not to take the time to do, but I might have to. All right, good enough. Okay, so let's scrap. This sentiment, I should say, was from the Kindness and Compassion uh, stamp set, which I loved. It, would, it was great for sympathy cards, for a, a thank you, um, just really nice, nice wording. Which I, I liked. So, okay, so I'm gonna put this on my layer and right in the middle there. Okay, now I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just going to uh, break down the fibers of this paper. And this is just regular Whisper White paper, it's not the heavy, um, the thick Whisper White but we just want to bend it a little bit so it has a little bit more dimension when we put it right on there. So first I'm gonna put one on top of the other and obviously I will put this one on top of that one because that one was not cropped out perfectly. And just arrange it here, okay? And then I'm going to put a little, um, I think I'll put a dimensional under there and I can use a big one for this. Okay, take that off, and this little daisy goes right on top. And this will be good for thank yous for um, when we get back to our salons, for our hair and our nails someday. I don't know. All right, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of it. This is just one of those basic um, adhesive back sequins, just a white one, that'll do me good. And I had a little, bow that I made 
and I have to find it. Where did it go? Okay, can't find it. Always the way. All right, I'll make another one. Okay, I do the same thing here. I just made two. I just double up along and snip it, snip it, and then freehand make, make the bow. I'm going to find it as soon as I finish this bow. I'm sure I will. Okay. All right. And that can just get snipped. And I just give it a little zhuzh, however I want, however uh, small. I, I do like with the twine, I do like it to be a little smaller. Okay. Pop that up with a glue dot. And since the glue dot is bigger than the actual knot on there, I'm just going to squeeze it a little bit before I actually pull it off. And then that's going to go right here. And then you don't see it. Okay, number two, thank you. Thank you, postal workers. Thank you, truck drivers. Thank you, people that are at the grocery store for us. Okay, next one is, let's do the uh, Grapefruit Grove. And honestly, Grapefruit Grove was my, my favorite out of, the, um, out of all the colors. If you know me, you know I'm not really a bright and bold kind of color person. So this one was right up my alley. And so I will be, I will be a little sad to see that one go. Okay, so the, for this one again, I'm using the dies from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And this is the bundle that the Stitch So Sweetly dies came with. It's the So Sentimental bundle. And we're just going to Again, this is all layers. Let's just do our stamping first on this. And I have this nice big one. Like I said, I tried to do all different ones so that each one would be different because I might end up having to give them out more than once. If this goes on a little bit longer, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so that's all the stamping we have to do with that. Let's put that on here. And, okay, that's a very pretty color. I do like this. All right, let's get our little note, fold, note card ready. And you could also take a little bit extra of the DSP and um, line the little envelopes because it because these note cards they don't use that much dsp so it's um it's a lot easier to just go through them okay so for this one i took a little dsp from the um what was this called birthday bonanza uh, uh dsp and this this was a cute set too so all of our DSP will be gone um, after today. I mean, it won't be gone. It just you won't. You'll still be able to order it until it runs out of stock, and then nothing will be um, for, nothing from the mini catalog will be ordered. Once it goes on back order, that's it. It's done. All right. So we're going to put this here, and I'm just going to pop this up with some dimensionals. And see how that goes. Just, oh, running low here. And come on. I usually do five because this one is so big, but I'll just do four right now. And these are great because they don't give um, too much bulk to it. So you could put these in the mail if you if you wanted to. Okay, there we go. Grapefruit Grove, done, number three. All righty, let's move on. Um, what are we gonna do next? This one, we'll do blueberry bushel. And um, this was a nice color too. I shouldn't say that. This was not too bold. It was pretty good for me. Um, all right, so this one again, I used the, um, let me get that over here, 
I used one stamp set. This was from the mini catalog, the Seriously the Best, and this was the one that came with the um, uh, card kit also. So um, I just picked up the thanks. I love the big, bold uh, sentiments on that one. And I pulled this because this is where I got this little, um, this die cut was from the Painted Labels dies, and I've used that a lot. It, it's very easy to just, um, you know, just pop something up with some bling or just a little bit of a, a bold statement. So, okay, let's do our stamping, get that out, and then we'll get our card together. And I also used the um, Small Blooms Punch, which was from the celebration event, and um, but we're very lucky that that is being, we know that that is being carried over into the new catalog. So that was a good find to get that. Okay, this is a very nice um, bold color. Be great for masculine cards too. All right, get that out of the way. Okay, where's my things? Here they are. Okay, so let's get this one ready. And you can see how fast it is to work with these um, note cards. You can just have like a little assembly line and they're good. So this one, I didn't even use any DSP to show you that you can make a card. You don't have to have a, you know, a, a cardstock layer or a DSP layer. This was good enough. And so I just, um, I cropped this out beforehand. I'm just gonna give this right here on the side. And then I'm gonna pop this up with dimensionals. Let's see if we have enough here. And it's bold, it says what it needs to say, and um, it was easy, and you're not using hardly any of your, of your cardstock or your products, your DSP. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right, right here. And now I'm just gonna use my Small Blooms Punch. This was that one I was just saying was, um, we know is being carried over. So if you were lucky enough to get one during, your, during the celebration, hold on to it. And I'm sure there's gonna be a goodie in the catalog that we can use it with. So let me just show you what I do with these punch, with these little um, Blooms Punch. I take it, I put it on my um, piercing mat, which I just use it for a stamping mat. And you can take a pencil, the, but the back side of a pencil or my piercer here, and I just push it in. And it just gives it a little bit of, a little bit of oomph that I think makes it pop out a little bit more and makes it showcase whatever your, um, whatever bling you're using to put on the inside. So we can put that right here. And then it's already up and ready to, ready to pop. Okay, so I just added one of these uh, frosted epoxy um, droplets. I think I like the frosted ones better than the clear ones. So I'm just gonna pop that right in there. And there we go. Number four, done, done, done. Okay, don't need that. All right, so this is our last one. And this is the lovely lipstick. And this is what I did with that one. And let me clear out some of this stuff. Um, Lovely Lipstick was very popular. It became very popular again with the new, um, the best dressed suite um, in the mini catalog because it, um, it, had, it focused on really, really beautiful colors, but a lot of the, the DSP had um, beautiful, lovely lipstick highlights in there. So same thing here. This one for the sentiment though, because again, I'm just looking for different thank yous. I chose this one, Free as a Bird, and this is a beautiful set anyway, uh, you know, regardless, but I just like this really simple um, font in saying thank you. So I, I picked that one. All right, I'll show you how I put this together. So um, last one. And we can do this together. 
So you can see I'm using very little DSP and very little um, cardstock. This was one of the DSPs from the, uh, one of the sheets of DSP from that Best Dressed um, DSP pack. And it had all makeup, uh, perfumes, all like girly stuff on one side. And the others had beautiful uh, floral prints or bold striped prints like that. So I really did, I really did like that. Um, oops. And um, so, I decided to do this. I don't usually do it two weeks in a row, but because last last week I did the tulips mini class, where um, I thought this went all the way across, but it doesn't. There we go. Uh, so uh, I'm going to do this as another mini class, uh, which means that if you um, purchase, make any thirty-five dollar purchase between now and Saturday. Um, by the 25th, use my host code here, then um, I'll send you the kits to make one each of all of these five cards that I that I just put together today. So everything will be in there, all the DSP, the cardstock already trimmed. The only thing that won't be in there is the, because um, I can I can punch out the daisies for you, um, and you could just leave them white if you don't happen to have that stamp set. But this is the only one, the uh, sailboat, that um, I, I could just put a piece of scrap white, whisper white in there for you, but I can't, I can't um, crop that out and color it for you. And if I cropped it out for you and then you didn't have that stamp set, then that's silly because then you can't do anything with that. So I'll just give you a piece of scrap paper. But everything else, all the tags, all the um, DSP and the cardstock will be in the kit but you do have to order by uh, Saturday night so that um, I can get what I need to get to get the kits back out to you by by later in the week okay so what I did here was let's do the um, sentiment first and that's where my little thank you came in and this is just a piece of white of white scrap and I don't really need to do this because it's a, this is one of the rubber ones but um, actually, I'm gonna move that over more, just in case. I don't, I don't know how much room I'm gonna need with my tag. So I'm taking my um, um, classic label punch, and I'm just gonna punch that out so it's nice and straight on either side. And it's tight, so I'm, I'm just getting it in there. So, okay, and here we go again with this lovely lipstick. This is why I stay away from bold colors. I don't know why they just attach themselves to me. So I'll show you what I did here with this strip. Now, I took, um, this is one of these strips from the Flowering Foils uh, DSP, which was another celebration item, which was, was, was beautiful. And, um, so what I did here, it has a silver background. There's, it's a specialty DS, was a specialty DSP. And um, it, 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 all of them are so beautiful to color in. I think I did a video um, a while ago on either coloring them in with your blends markers or using sponge daubers uh, just to add a little color to it, but they really came out beautiful. So I just took a strip of this, a one inch strip, and um, I'm going to just uh, I really should do that on here. Color in, and you don't even. It, this is specialty paper, and it's um, like uh, you know, it has that metallic feel, uh, me metallic texture to it. So when you're filling in, you really just have to glide it on. It's going to fill in for you, so you don't have to get too close to the edge. So I purposely stayed away. From the edge and I, I tried it with the light um, lovely lipstick and also with the dark and I I have to say I like the dark better it picked it up better from the um, the cardstock so there you go you just have to add a little bit and I didn't do the whole I, I left a little bit out so I can show you how I did that but when you're doing it you can't really make you know I don't have you can't make a mistake so I don't have my um, 
Oh, the the one that the that one that picks up the the markers. So because right here I went out of the lines a little bit. Oh, that's terrible. But um, I I think I'll live. So I'm gonna put this on with some um, strips of DSP. So I'm gonna use my strips here of the leftovers. Don't ever throw your your DSP out. I mean, DSP, don't ever throw out your, uh, your dimensionals, even when you think they're done, because these are totally worthwhile. There are exact, there are actually um, foam strips that you can purchase, foam adhesive strips, I think they're called, and it does the same thing. But if you save up your little things here, why not? Why wouldn't you just use that? All right, so I'm gonna just put that on and we'll be almost ready to go. Hi, Noelle, good to see you. Okay, so, whoopsie. All right, so this is just gonna go right in the middle there. And um, it's gonna look different with each one because this piece that we cut, the strip uh, from the DSP, is, has those wiggly lines, so that's gonna look a little different too. Um, Okay, my tag, let's see, hopefully, I still have red on me. I don't know why, it's just me. That's why I stay away from the old colors. They like, just don't get along with me. They wanna make my life more crazy than it already is. All right, okay, so let's get these guys off and put this right here. You see, it's all smudgy. So my suggestion to you, if you don't have the relationship with bold colors like I do, then you're fine. But if you do, I would suggest you just let that sit there for a few minutes. All the other inks don't do that. So I don't understand why these red ones or, or black really isn't my friend either. So, oh well, I'll cope. Okay, so I'm just adding three of these little, whoopsie, um, metallic dots, a uh, metallic pearls to the project, just to give it a little, a little bit of bling, but not too much. Okay, there we go, we're done. And we did five beautiful cards to say thank you, or you could put any sentiment you want, but I'm using these to say, to say, to send my thanks and my appreciation to my family that's in the um, healthcare field, to the postman who I don't know, but I'm, I'm appreciative of him. And so now I have 10 cards ready to go. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope if you have these cards, if you have these colors, use them. If you need more, then um, by all means, this is the time to get them. Once they're gone, they will be gone for sure. Um, use the host code if you place any $35 order between now and Saturday. If you use the host code and uh, if the order is over $35, I will send you the kits to make one each of these cards. And I should be able to get them out to you by the end of next week. Um, so that's why I need to have the, I, I need to know the, or, you know, that all the orders are in by Saturday. So I hope you enjoyed this Facebook Live. I'm so apologetic for the um, problems, the interruptions in the beginning. I don't understand what happens, but with Facebook Live, we have to just go with the flow and um, that's just the way it is. So if you did enjoy this video, I hope that you would um, maybe share it. And um, if, I, if I have a few people that share it, um, you know, I might be inclined to um, pick a name and send you a little bit of a, a little bit of a goodie. Um, I will I will upload this video to YouTube and then it will be on my blog. If you go to my blog, it, that will be on tomorrow, I believe, um, and that will have the PDF tutorials for this. So even if you don't place an order, you're welcome to use the PDF and um, to do these yourself uh, at home. But all the information will be there, all the um, products that I used the product list will be linked in the uh, YouTube video the, in the description part and also on the blog. So, and if you do go uh, to my YouTube, if you do see it on the YouTube replay, 
please subscribe to my channel and um, this way you'll be able to see my next video once you'll get notification once it comes on so thank you for spending some time with me today i appreciate it i apologize again for the problems in the beginning and um, if you came in and then left i hope you come on back and see the replay stay safe be healthy and i will see you next time thanks again bye bye